At what point uh, do you know you've hit a stride and this is gonna be one of those films that resonate across the board? I don't know that you ever do. I mean, Nick and I literally, I think it was yesterday, we were sitting there going, when are we gonna believe this movie's good? We want it to be fantastic. And I think sometimes great creativity comes out of great doubt or great fear. Yeah. We want it so badly to be loved and to connect with people, so we don't know. We don't know. That is hard. That is really hard to know that you got something good. We have so many experiences where we think, I think this is pretty good, and then somebody tells you you're wrong. <laughs> Reality really sets in. Really slapped around a lot. I mean, right. this is the school of hard knocks. You've done uh, eight or nine animated films? I think so. For you personally, what is it about uh, this opportunity, these projects, that attracts you? I think animated movies are the best movies made. They're certainly the best movies made today, and I think they may have been the best movies made 50 years ago. My sense was always a sense of gratitude to the actors that used to do it for me when I was a kid, and I always thought, the first time somebody asked me to do an animated movie, that, oh, thank God, this is my chance to start, sort of pay back, because what a great gift they gave me. And so I just feel like that's part of a tradition I'm supposed to, you know, join in with. Uh, other than that, it's it's challenging, it's fun, it's a, it's a bit of a lark, because you just sort of run into a studio and, and a sound booth and you get to like do crazy things, go you know from here to the moon and back and stuff, and, and, and uh, use your voice in a way that you don't get to do on camera, because on camera it would look like a lie, you know. That's, that's the issue, you know, <laughs> you know, I can't do it. Animated films in history, there's great iconic characters. And for some reason in animation, performances can come through and characters can hit you that stay with you for life. Yes. Right, whether it's like Baloo the Bear or Dumbo or something like that. Mm. Kelsey's hitting an iconic character in this movie. And that's, you know, hopefully there'll be kids that will always get a smile on their face when they think about Hunter in this movie, right? Yeah, big boss. What are you most proud of when you think of this film? Oh, just to be part of it, actually. It's a real celebration of life, this movie. I really, I'm always proud to do something that has to do with the human condition and giving everybody a look at it as though it's worth it. When you see a movie that says to you at the end of the day, this is so worth it, I love that.